My first time watching Casablanca. Let's go ahead and watch this. Across the rim of Africa to Casablanca. Oh wow, that I never knew. May I see your papers? I don't think I have them on me. These papers expired three weeks ago. You have to come along. Oh! Halt! Have you not heard? Uh, we hear very little, and we understand even less. Too sure and This is the customary roundup of refugees liberated to Casablanca. Some of them have been waiting years for a visa. Be on guard. This place is full of vultures. Amusing little fellow. <laughs> Waiter. <laughs> Check, please. <laughs> Left my wallet in the hotel. Oh. I... Oh, he just pickpocketed him. It is very good to see you again, Major Stasser. Thank you. Thank you. Unoccupied France welcomes you to Casablanca. Thank you, Captain. It's very good to be here. Why, there be the murder of the couriers. What has been done? Well, realizing the importance of the case, my men are rounding up twice the usual number of suspects. Tonight he'll be at Ricks. Everybody comes to Ricks. I have already heard about this cafe and also about Mr. Rick himself. One thing I will say that I can appreciate about black and white films, especially this one, so far from the scenes that we've watched, is that the film it has texture. And what I mean by that is that there's tonal variances between the blacks and the whites and then also you see the textures on the wall of like the leaves and the uh, the fences that they have up and the smoke in the atmosphere also adds depth waiter yes madam will you ask rick if he'll have a drink with us madam he never drinks with customers oh is this rick he's playing a good game of chess just touch the bishop nice introduction Sorry, sir, this is a private room. A fool in the earth. Who do you think? I know there is gambling in there. And if you think I'm going to be kept out of a saloon like this, you're very much mistaken. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, please. Hello, Hello Henry. Your cash is good at the bar. What? Do you know who I am? I do. You're lucky the bar's open. <laughs> this is outrageous. I shall report it to the angry. One would think you've been doing this all your life. Well, what makes you think I haven't? Hey, but when you first came to Casablanca, I thought... You thought what? <laughs> Too bad about those two German couriers, wasn't it? They got a lucky break. Yesterday they were just two German clerks. Today they're the honored dead. See, me, the texture you? in the background. Well, if I gave you any thought, I probably would. You object to the kind of business I do, huh? Ways of my own, I provide them with exit visas. For a price, Ugarty. Is that so parasitic? I don't mind a parasite. I object to a cut-rate one. Well, Rick, after tonight I'll be through with the whole business and I'm leaving. Letters of transit signed by General Degon cannot be rescinded. Not even questioned. I mean, you are the only one I trust. Will you keep these for me, please? Oh, no. For how long? Oh, perhaps mm -hmm. an hour, perhaps a little longer. I don't want them here overnight. Exactly. That sounds so risky. I don't like this at all. I don't know. I don't know whether that's a setup or... Uh. Hey, I heard a rumor those two German couriers were carrying letters of transit. Mm -hmm. huh? I've heard that rumor, too. I am a little more impressed with you. Who's unhappy? We're unhappy! Oh, he put, oh, is that even a safe place to put the stuff, Rick? Somebody can move those so easily. But I'd like to buy your cafe. It's not for sale. I haven't heard my offer. It's not for sale at any price. What do you want for Sam? <sighs> I don't buy or sell human beings. Refugees alone, we can make a fortune. Suppose you run your business and let me run mine. You'll double what I pay you. Yeah, but I ain't got time to spend the money I make here. Who were you last night? That's so long ago, I don't remember. Will I see you tonight? I never make plans that far ahead. Sasha, she's had enough. Don't listen to him, Sasha. I'll fill it up. Yvonne, I love you, but he pays me. Come on, we're gonna get your coat. Take your hands off me. Well, you're going home. You've had a little too much to drink. What a fool I was to fall for a man like you. Go with her, Sasha, and be sure she gets home. Yes, boss. I've often speculated on why you don't return to America. Did you run off with the senator's wife? I like to think that you killed a man. It's the romantic in me. My health. I came to Casablanca for the waters. The waters? What waters? We're in the desert. <laughs> what waters? A gentleman inside has won 20,000 francs, and the cashier would like some money. I'll oh, get it from the safe. There's going to be some excitement here tonight. We're going to make an arrest in your cafe. Really? Again? If you're thinking of warning him, don't put yourself out. He cannot possibly escape. Not in my high regard for you. We're staging it here. It will amuse your customers. Rick, we'd have an important guest here tonight. Ooh, I love the shot. Him in his shadow. He certainly didn't come all the way to Casablanca to witness a demonstration of your efficiency. Perhaps not. Oh, you got something on your mind. Why don't you spill it? Rick, there are many exit visas sold in this cafe, but we know that you've never sold one. That is the reason we permit you to remain open. 
Well, I thought it was because I let you win at roulette. There is a man arrived in Casablanca on his way to America. He will offer a fortune to anyone who will furnish him with an exit visa. Victor Laszlo. Rick, that is the first time I've ever seen you so impressed. Succeeded in impressing half the world. It's my duty to see that he doesn't impress the other half. Laszlo must never reach America. He stays in Casablanca. He escaped from a concentration camp. The Nazis have been chasing him all over Europe. 20,000 francs says it isn't. Is that a serious offer? I just paid out 20. I'd like to get it back. He still needs an exit visa. Oh, I should say two. Why two? He is traveling with a lady. Louis, well, whatever gave you the impression that I might be interested in helping Laszlo escape? Because, my dear Ricky, I suspect that under that cynical shell, you're at heart a sentimentalist. You ran guns to Ethiopia. You fought in Spain on the loyalist side. Well, it seems that you're determined to keep Laszlo here. I have my orders. Oh, boy. Take him quietly. Two guards at every door. Yes, sir. Good evening, Captain. Won't you join us? Thank you. In a few minutes, you'll see the arrest of the man who murdered your couriers. Will you please come with us? Certainly. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. How y'all let homeboy run? <laughs> Do something. You must help me, Rick. Do something. Come on. When they come to get me, Rick, I hope you'll be more of a help. I stick my neck out for nobody. Uh, this is Major Heinrich Strasser of the Third Reich. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Unofficially, of course. Like that caviar. What is your nationality? I was born in New York City, if that'll help you, honey. I understand that you came here from Paris at the time of the occupation. Can you imagine us in London? When you get there, ask me. Who do you think will win the war? I have the slightest idea. Rick is completely neutral about everything. Richard Blaine, American, age 37, cannot return to his country. Mm? The reason is a little vague. We also know what you did in Paris, Mr. Blaine, and also we know why you left Paris. Don't worry, we are not going to broadcast it. An enemy of the Reich has come to Casablanca, and we are checking up on anybody who can be of any help to us. You have no sympathy for the Fox, huh? Not particularly. I understand the point of view of the Hound, too. Victor Laszlo published the foulest lies in the Prague newspapers until the very day we marched in it, even after that. Of course, one must admit he has great courage. We intend not to let it happen again. Hey, excuse uh, me, gentlemen. Your business is politics. Mine is running a saloon. Mm. Good evening, Mr. Blaine. Victor Laszlo. Yes, Monsieur Laszlo. Oh, okay. Right this way. So when are they going to get him? I mean, are they going to get him now, or are they going to wait? Because they're looking for Victor, and the authorities are here. I feel somehow we shouldn't stay here. Yeah. If you would walk out so soon, it would only call attention to us. You look like a couple who are on their way to America. The ring is quite unique. Oh, yes, I'm very interested. I'll meet you in a few minutes at the bar. No, I don't think you oh. want to buy the ring, but thank you for showing it to us. I am Captain Renault, Prefect of Peace. Yes, what is it you want? Merely to welcome you to Casablanca and to wish you a pleasant stay. Mm -hmm. I was informed you were the most beautiful woman ever to visit Casablanca. That was a gross understatement. Please, a bottle of your best champagne and put it on my bill. Very well, sir. Captain, please. Oh, oh please, monsieur. It is a little game we play. They put it on the bill, I tear up the bill. <laughs> the boy was playing the piano. Yes. He came from Paris with Rick. Rick, who's he? Oh. Mademoiselle, even if I were a woman and I were not around, I should be in love with Rick. But what a fool <laughs> I am talking to a beautiful woman about another man. But you see, Major Strasser, I'm a Czechoslovakian. Now you are subject of the German Reich. And I'm now on French soil. I should like to discuss some matters arising from your presence on French soil. Then we shall stay at another time and another place tomorrow at 10 in the prefect's office. Captain Renault, I'm under your authority. Is it your order that we come to your office? Uh, let us say it is my request. That is a much more pleasant word. Very well. This time they really mean to stop me. Victor, I'm afraid for you. We've been in difficult places before, haven't we? Also, does she know Sam? I'm looking for a man by the name of Rugatti. He's supposed to help me. He's under arrest for murder. He was arrested here tonight. Just before you came. Tomorrow night there's a meeting at the Cavendor Work. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Monsieur Laszlo. We had quite a bit of excitement this evening, didn't we, Berger? Hello, Sam. Hello, myself. I never expect to see you again. It's been a long time. Wait, they know each other? Where is Rick? Oh, something deeper going on here? He ain't coming. Uh, he went home. Does he always leave so early? Oh, he never. Well... He used to be a much better liar, sir. Leave him alone, Miss Elsa. You bad luck to him. Play it once, Sam. For all time's sake. I don't know what you mean, Miss Elsa. I'm a little rusty on you. Oh, snap. I don't know. I don't know how it's possible, but the movie keeps getting progressively deeper and deeper. Like, this whole thing, it, it, like, seems on the surface. We need to catch a murderer. 
But then it turns out Miss Elsa here has a history with Rick. She knows Sam. Victor don't know. Victor been on a run. Victor might be arrested. Victor ain't going to America. She ain't going to America either. Like, it's just complex. Yo, Ricky Rick. <laughs> Not to mention these exit visas are still here on top of the piano. Right there. Looming. Looming. Oh. Hello, Rick. Uh-oh. Oh, you've already met Rick, Mademoiselle. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. Then, uh, how do you do? Well, he has a great deal about Rick in Casablanca. How do you do? do? Won't you join us for a drink? Oh, oh no, Rick. No, Max, I will. Oh, oh. Uh. We all try. You succeed. I can't get over you two. She was asking about you earlier, Rick, in a way that made me extremely jealous. <laughs> extremely jealous. I remember every detail. The Germans wore gray. You wore blue. When the Germans march out, I'll wear it again. Else I don't wish to be the one to say it. But it's late. Victor don't Victor not peeping this. <laughs> Look at the the chemistry, bro. Victor. Listen. Rick's life is complicated. What sort is he? Oh, I really can't say though. I saw him quite often in Paris. Mm. Are you planning on going to bed in the near future? No. You ever going to bed? No. Waiting for a lady. Please, boss, let's go. Ain't nothing but trouble for you here. Coming back, I know she's coming back. I bet they're asleep all over America. Of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. Oh, Rick. They got my boy Rick going through the motions. Stop it. You know what I want to hear. No, don't. You played it for her, you played it for me. <laughs> Also, another <clears throat> fascinating thing uh, from this movie is that you normally see this in TV shows. We have what we call a bottle episode where the episode takes place in one, one place. And I've never seen that done in a movie. I mean, so far, the entire film has taken place within Rick's cafe. For the most part, Rick. <laughs> oh, I wonder what happened to them, though. He is looking at you, kid. <laughs> Why, there is no other man in my life. Uh-huh. He's dead. I'm sorry for asking. Francais, Parisien. Well, we can stop them now. Wednesday, Thursday at the latest, they'll be in Paris. Richard, they'll find out your record. It won't be safe for you here. They're blacklist already. Oh, is this where they first met Sam? Franzosen, I am one of our Paris. That's German. Boy. They say they expect to be in Paris tomorrow. Tomorrow? The whole world crumbling. We picked this time to fall in love. Where were you, say, ten years ago? Ten years ago? Yes, I was having a brace put on my teeth. <laughs> Where were you? Looking for a job. The Germans will be here pretty soon now, and they'll come looking for you. And I left a note in my apartment. They'll know where to find me. Well, I know very little about you. Just the fact that you had your teeth straightened. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Now, the train for Marseille leaves at five o'clock. <gasps> Did she stand him up? I'll meet you at the station. Oh, Elsa. <laughs> Something I had to plan. Not right. Yes, I guess it is. You see the look in her eye. She ain't telling all the truth. Yeah. What about the engineer? Why can't he marry us on the train? Darling. Hey, what's wrong, kid? I love you so much. Crazy world. Anything can happen. Oh no, she stood Rick up. I wonder what her reservation was though. Since they had been spending all this time together, why would she not go with him? I don't understand. Unless, cause then it's like, where did Victor come from? I don't know. I don't know what Elsa was doing. She checked out of the hotel, but this note came just after you left. I cannot go with you ever again. What? You might not, must not ask why. Just but oh, it's it's washing away to in the rain. Elsa, no. Oh, how could she do that? Oh, all oh, was a very perfect moment for the montage and flashback after having introduced the two of them together and then seeing what they went through and how they got here. Poor Rick. Oh, no. 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 I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this right now. Unless she's willing to spill all the beans. About where you came from, girl. Why you stood Rick up. And your entire history. Why did you have to come to Casablanca? There are other places. Believe me, Rick, it's true. I didn't know. It's funny about your voice, how it hasn't changed. Richard, dear, I'll go with you any place. We'll get on a train together and never stop. Don't, Rick. How long was it we had, honey? I didn't count the days. Well, I did. Every one of them. Mostly I remember the last one. Can I tell you a story, Rick? She met a man about whom she had heard her whole life. A very great and courageous man. And she looked up to him. Yes, he's very pretty. Who was it you left me for? Was it Laszlo or were there others in between? Or... Oh. 
like it's just getting worse. What's that? Hey, what's that? Suggest you search the cafe immediately and thoroughly. If Rick has the letters, he's much too smart to let you find them there. My impression was that he's just another blundering American. <laughs> As to Laszlo, we want him watched 24 hours a day. It is my duty to see that you stay in Casablanca. Whether or not you will succeed is, of course, problematic. Not at all. Captain Renault's signature is necessary on every exit visa. Captain, would you think it is possible that Laszlo will receive a visa? I'm afraid not. Or you may leave for Lisbon tomorrow on one condition. You know the leader of the underground movement in Paris, in Prague. In Brussels, in Amsterdam. Yes, even in Berlin. If you will furnish me with their names and their exact whereabouts, you will have your visa in the morning. Victor. I was in a German concentration camp for a year. That's honor enough for a lifetime. If I didn't give them to you in a concentration camp, where you had more persuasive methods at your disposal, I certainly won't give them to you now. What if you murdered all of us? From every corner of Europe, hundreds, thousands would rise to take our places. No one could take your place in the event anything unfortunate should occur to you while you were trying to escape. Uh, by the way, monsieur, last night you evinced an interest in Senor Ugarte. May I speak to him now? You would find the conversation a trifle one-sided. Senor Ugarte is dead. Hmm? Are you quite finished with us? Oh. For the time being. Good day. What upsets me is the fact that Ugarte is dead. No one knows where those letters have transferred. Mm. Practically no one. I have a proposition for whoever has those letters. Carrying charges? Be a few incidental expenses. Rick, I'll put my cards on the table. I think you know where those letters are. They're good company. Reno and Strasser probably think so, too. That's why I came over here, to give them a chance to ransack my place. I wonder if he moved the papers from on top of the piano. Only 700 francs. You're being cheated. For friends of Rick's, we have a small discount. Did I say 700 francs? You can have it for 200. And for special friends of Rick's, we have a special discount. <laughs> Make it free. <laughs> why did you come back? To tell me why you ran out on me at the railway station? I don't think I will, Rick. Why not? After all, I got stuck with a railway ticket. I think I'm entitled to know. The Rick I knew in Paris, I could tell him he'd understand. But the one who looked at me with such hatred. I'll be leaving Casablanca soon, and we'll never see each other again. If we leave it that way, maybe we'll remember those days, not Casablanca. All the same, someday you'll lie to Laszlo. No, you see, Victor Laszlo is my husband. Oh? And was, even when I knew you in Paris. Oh? Elsa! Oh. As leader of all illegal activities in... You mean for me to go on alone? And only alone. We take a miracle to get you out of Casablanca, and the Germans have outlawed miracles. Please, Elsa, don't be hasty. No, Victor, no. I think I'll her Elsa. Elsa. Want to discuss this. If I had to stay and there were only visa for one, would you take it? Yes, I would. When I had trouble getting out of Lille, why didn't you leave me there? I meant to, but something always held me up. I love you very much, Elsa. Your secret will be safe with me. We've decided, Senor Ferrari. For present, we'll go on looking for two exit visas. I observe that you, in one respect, are a very fortunate man, monsieur. Have you heard about Senor Ugarte and the letters of transit? Yes, something. Those letters were not found on Ugarte when they arrested him. You know where they are? Not for sure, monsieur. But I'll venture to guess that Ugarte left those letters with Monsieur Rick. Oh, no. Thank you very much. Now that they know that that information, I feel like Ilsa is going to use that. I don't know. I don't know. I really, I just, I can't trust her right now, Ilsa. And if she tries to step to Rick and be like, Rick, give me the, give me the papers. So that me and Vic... <laughs> can go to America like that'd be so weird there's some going over your man gave my place this afternoon we just barely got cleaned up in time to open well I told Strasser you wouldn't find the letters here but have you got those letters of transit Louis are you pro Vichy or free French uh -huh. she's back French 75 put up a whole row of those are shot no 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 why am I not but you can't repeat it what I said is none of your business I will make it my business oh oh what is happening? I don't like disturbances in my place. I either lay off politics or get out. The situation is not as much under control as you believe. Captain, are you entirely certain which side you're on? I have no conviction, if that's what you mean. I blow with the wind. We know that every French province in Africa is honeycombed with traitors. It is too dangerous if you let him go. It may be too dangerous if you let him stay. I see what you mean. Could I speak to you for just a moment, please? How'd you get in here? You're underage. I came with Captain Reno. What kind of a man is Captain Reno? Oh, he's just like any other man, only more so. No, I mean, is he trustworthy? Is his word? Where's your husband? At the roulette table, trying to win enough for our exit visas. We did not want our children to grow up in such a country. And so you decided to go to America? Yes. And then Captain Reno sees us. And he is so kind, he wants to help us. Yes, I'll bet. But we have no... I'm sorry, that sounds like a trick. I don't know. Still willing to give you a visa? And you want to know? Will he keep his word? Oh, okay, maybe not. He always has. If someone loved you very much, so that your happiness was the only thing that she wanted in the world, could you forgive her? 
Nobody ever loved me that much. And he never knew. And the girl kept this bad thing locked in her heart. That would be all right, wouldn't it? Do you want my advice? Go back to Bulgaria. Oh, but if you knew what it means to us to leave Europe, to get to America. Yours may work, can't you? Excuse me. Thank you, monsieur. I'll have Sam play as time goes by. I believe that's your favorite tune. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong for that. Have you tried 22 tonight? La cour des jeux, mesdames et messieurs, les jeux sont faits, la partie continue. 22, noir, père et passe. La cour des jeux, mesdames et messieurs. Ricky Rick. Fait. 22, noir, père et passe. Cash it in and don't come back. Wow. Oh, Rick sure. does have a little heart. Just a lucky guy. Oh, uh, not here. Yeah, you get him in Trump Trump. Still, it's very strange that you won. Well... Maybe not so strange. As I suspected, you're a rank sentimentalist. Yeah, why? Why do you interfere with my little romances? Well, I'll forgive you this time. Monsieur Blaine, I wonder if I could talk to you. Uh, Go ahead. Don't ask about these papers. You must know it's very important I get out of Casablanca. Okay. It's my privilege to be one of the leaders of a great movement. Mm. The problems of the world are not in my department. My friends in the underground tell me that you've quite a record. Isn't it strange that you always happen to be fighting on the side of the underdog? Are you enough of a businessman to appreciate an offer of 100,000 francs? <laughs> I appreciate it, but I don't accept it. There must be some reason why you won't let me have them. There is. I suggest that you ask your wife. Oh! You I said, ask your wife. <gasps> Yikes. Yikes. So, like, just a situation they put Rick in. It's like he doesn't make a choice. He, he has all the cards, literally, quite in his hands. What he could do with them is good or bad. Because the movie keeps playing up to... Rick, why don't you go go back to America? And Ilsa's trying to get to America. Vic's trying to get to America. Everybody want to get to America. And um, what is he gonna do with those exit letters? Play la masses. Play it. It's like their voices are overpowering theirs, literally and figuratively. It's like no matter what you do, you can't you can't silence them. Oh, and that goes back to what the general was saying about Victor. They was like, is it is it bad to keep him here too? Because wherever he goes, he's going to start a movement. I mean, if Laszlo's presence in the cafe See? can inspire See? this unfortunate See? demonstration, but more will his presence in Casablanca bring on. Yeah. The place is to be closed. But I have no excuse to close it. Find one. Oh! No! Right now? To leave here immediately. Shocked. Shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. What? You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Everybody out of once. <laughs> After this disturbs, it is not safe for Lazlo to stay in Casablanca. That is also to accept for one destination to return to occupied France. Occupied France? My dear mademoiselle, perhaps you have already observed that in Casablanca, human life is cheap. See, they're watching you. Our faithful friend is still there. Please don't go to the underground meeting tonight. It's not safe. I must. Victor, why don't you tell me about Rick? What did you find out? Apparently he has the letters, but no intention of selling them. Did he give you any reason? He suggested I ask you. <laughs> Victor, I don't know. Maybe Ilsa's just so good at covering things up. I'm like, Vic, you really ain't peep nothing. Nothing. Were you lonely in Paris? A good guy. <gasps> that, oh, oh! Yes, Victor, I was. She did that while he was in the concentration camp? Is there anything you wish to tell me? Ilsa! Am I hearing correctly? Ilsa was cheating on her husband while he was in a concentration camp? Be careful. Oh. I, I don't know how this movie just continues to escalate on top of itself. Continue. And where you finna go? Where you finna go? I know you're not going to Rick. I know you're not. How long can I afford to stay closed? Mm. Two weeks, maybe. Th Two weeks? Everybody stays on salary. <sighs> oh, Thank that's you. sweet. No! Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, how you got up in here? Richard, I had to see well, you. There's Richard again. We're back in Paris. Please, you can ask any price you want, but you must give me those letters. But I know how you feel about me, but I'm asking you to put your feelings aside for something more important. I'm not fighting for anything anymore except myself. Mm. Rick. Oh, it, it's just take it's so complex. You knew what really happened if you only knew the truth. You say anything now to get what you want. One woman has hurt you and you take your revenge on the rest of them. <laughs> ah, One woman has hurt you and you take your, your anger out on the rest of the world. She said one woman. Oh. 
Ilsa. Now I want those letters. Wait a minute. What the last time put is the table. going on? All right, I'll make it easier for you. Don't test the woman now. I tried to stay away. I thought I would never see you again. That you are out of my life. Is she really good for that one tear or just don't want to? Oh. So what are you gonna do, Rick? You the day you left Paris. <sighs> It wasn't long after we were married that Victor went back to Czechoslovakia. Just a two-line item in the paper, Victor Laszlo apprehended, sent to concentration camp. I was frantic. For months I tried to get word. He was dead, shot, trying to escape. I was lonely. I had nothing, not even hope. Then I met you. Why weren't you honest with me? Why did you keep your marriage a secret? Well, it wasn't my secret, Richard. Victor wanted it that way. That was his way of protecting me. I knew so much about his work, and if the Gestapo found out I was his wife, it would be dangerous for me, and... and when did you first find out he was alive? Just before you and I were to leave Paris together. A friend came and told me that Victor was alive. Okay, fine, fine. They were hiding him. I knew you wouldn't have left Paris, and the Gestapo would have caught you, so I... Well, you know the rest. <laughs> what about now? Mm hmm Now, I know that I'll never have the strength to leave you again. And Laszlo? You'll see that he gets out, and then he'll have his work, all that he's been living for. All except one. He won't have you. I can't fight it anymore. I ran away from you once. I can't do it again. What is going on? I don't know what's right any longer. Come up here a minute. What? Oh, no. They came here. Rick's. I want you to take Miss Land home. But Rick, what are you going to do with Victor? It's nothing. Just a little cut. We have to get through a window. Had a close one, eh? Yes, rather. Don't you sometimes wonder if it's worth all this? I mean, what you're fighting for. If you stop breathing, we'll die. If you stop fighting our enemies, the world will die. Now, what of it? You know how you sound, Monsieur Blaine? Like a man who's trying to convince himself of something he doesn't believe in his heart. Each of us has a destiny. Yes, I get the point. I wonder if you do. I wonder if you know that you're trying to escape from yourself. You seem to know all about my destiny. I know a good deal more about you than you suspect. I know, for instance, that you're in love with a woman. It's perhaps a strange circumstance that we both should be in love with the same woman. I knew there was something between you and Ilsa. Mm. Since no one is to blame, I, I demand no explanation. I ask only one thing. You won't give me the letters of transit, but I want my wife to be safe. I ask you as a favor to use the letters to take her away from Casablanca. You love her that much? Apparently you think of me only as a leader of a cause. I'm also a human being. Oh no! Wait, 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 whoa! You'll come with us. We have a warrant for your arrest. No! no come on! This is not... This don't... Be, like, none of this feels right. All you can do is find him a few thousand francs and give him 30 days. You might as well let him go now. Ricky, I'd advise you not to be too interested in what happens to Laszlo. What makes you think I'd stick my neck out for Laszlo? Because, one, you bet 10,000 francs he'd escape. Two, you got the letters of transit. Now, don't bother to deny it. Don't count too much on my friendship, Ricky. In this matter, I'm powerless. You're not very subtle, but you are effective. I, I get the point. Yes, I have the letters. But I intend using them myself. I'm leaving Casablanca on tonight's plane, the last plane. What? Huh? I'm taking a friend with me, one you'll appreciate. What friend? Ilza Lund. Oh! That ought to put your mind to rest about my helping Laszlo escape. You have the letters of transit. You can fill in your name and hers and leave any time you please. Why are you still interested in what happens to Laszlo? But I am interested in what happens to Ilza and me. Instead of this petty charge you have against him, you could get something really big, something that would chuck him in a concentration camp for years, and then release him. You'll be at my place a half an hour before the plane leaves. I'll arrange to have Laszlo come there to pick up the letters of transit, and that'll give you the criminal grounds on which to make the arrest. You get him, and we get away. There's still something about this business I don't quite That's understand. what I'm saying. Is he really Mr. helping Mr. Vic escape? But you would... How do I know you'll keep your end of the bargain? I'll make the arrangements right now with Laszlo and the visitor's pen. Oh, and by the way, call off your watchdogs when you let them go. I don't want them around this afternoon. It's so hard to tell with Rick because sometimes he's like, I'm cold, I'm heartless. Then he's like, I have a heart. And it's really hard to tell which side he's playing. Ah, to get out of Casablanca and go to America. You're a lucky man. Well, so long. Wow, he sold Rick's. Is Rick really going to turn Victor in? But I asked him to tie up your watchdog. Oh, he won't be followed here. You know, is everything ready? Have the letters right here. Tell me, when we searched the place, where were they? Sam's piano. You better wait in my office. Mr. Blaine, I don't know how to thank you. I'll save it. We've still... Oh, goodness. My heart rate is up. It's up. Good. 
I've got the letters right here, all made out in blank. All you have to do is fill in the signatures. Victor Laszlo, you're under arrest. On a charge of accessory to the murder of the couriers from whom these letters were stolen. Oh, you're surprised about my friend Ricky. The explanation is quite simple. Love, it seems, has triumphed over virtue. Oh! Not so fast, Louis. Whoa, Ricky! Nobody's gonna be arrested, not for a while yet. Louis, I wouldn't like to shoot you, but I will if you take one more step. Rick! Under the circumstances, I will sit down. <laughs> Under the circumstances, I'll sit down. You call the airport and let me hear you tell them. And remember, this gun is pointed right at your heart. This is Captain Renault speaking. He didn't call. For the Lisbon plane. There's to be no trouble about them. Hello? Hello? Oh no, Captain! Oh no, this is bad! It's bad, Rick! I hope he at least counted for some type of mishap. If you don't mind, you fill in the names. That'll make it even more official. You think of everything, don't you? Names of Mr. and Mrs. Victor Laszlo. What? I understand. What about you? I'm staying here with him till the plane gets safely away. No, Richard, no. What is you said I was to do the thinking for both of us. Well, I've done a lot of it since then. It all adds up to one thing. You're getting on that plane. You're saying this only to make me go. I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. What about us? We'll always have Paris. What? I would never leave you. Rick! You never will. Uh -oh. I've got a job to do. He's looking at you, kid. Oh! <laughs> Rick! Richard! Oh, Major! Oh, me, me, me! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, too much. All the emotions, all the All except one thing. How did you know about Ilza and me? You didn't know she was at my place last night. We came there for the letters of transit. Tried everything to get them and nothing worked. Did her best to convince me that she was still in love with me. Here it is. Thanks. And welcome back to the fight. This time I know our side will win. Oh. Are you ready, Ilza? Go. Go now. In a hurry, you'll miss that plane. I was right. You are a sentimentalist. Where you are. <laughs> she went, but she knew you were lying. I suppose you know this isn't going to be very pleasant for either of us. As soon as the plane goes, Louis. Victor Laszlo is on that plane. I would advise you not to interfere. I was willing to shoot Captain Renault, and I'm willing to shoot you. Oh. Get me the radio tower. Put it down. Oh, don't try it. Oh! Rick! Rick! Major Strasser has been shot. Round up the usual suspects. What? Oh, what? You're not only a sentimentalist, but you've become a patriot. <laughs> it might be a good idea for you to disappear from Casablanca for a while. I could use a trip. It doesn't make any difference about our bet. You still owe me 10,000 francs. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Aww. Let's go. Yeah. I had, first of all, I had no idea this was a, like a romance movie, like heavy on the romance kid, okay? Like Rick Rickles, Rick, 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 like, oh my. I just really enjoy how the movie played so much with the dialogue, constantly saying that Rick, he's basically a neutral guy, doesn't get involved. He said, I, 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 I won't uh, break my neck over you. These different sayings, which then built up to the finale where he actually did do the most sacrificial thing for Ilsa and Victor regardless of how he felt, regardless of what it meant for his future, his love of life, he was willing to risk his own life to save the two of them. That just made it all the more beautiful. When we first were introduced to Rick and Ilsa, we knew something was up, what we didn't know, but Okay, when they showed us the background of Rick and Ilsa's relationship, it was like, this seems so great. What's wrong? What happened to them? But then we found out she had a whole husband on the side and she like cheated on Rick while her husband was in a concentration camp. But then we, we, we got the full scope of the story because they told her that her husband had been shot. She thought he was dead. And so she like moved on with Rick, which that doesn't make it, you know, as bad. But then she stood Rick up and she, she stopped. She didn't go back to Rick after she found out that her husband was alive and he was sick. That was valid because before then I was not, I was like, oh, Elsa did that? I was not feeling her at all. And I was like, poor Victor, because he's just such a really good guy. Fighting for the cause, 
starting a whole movement. Victor was just just an innocent bystander in this whole thing with Ilsa and Rickles. Yeah, I would say when we first found out that revelation that she was in married, I, I was like, Ilsa. Ilsa. <laughs> um, but to, to see it all unravel and just, yeah, when you think about it, Casablanca, it was just the dialogue. Dialogue was carrying the, the film. There wasn't any intense action sequences or fights. It was just dialogue. The story was a stack of steps. It just started off on this one level, like, hey, two Germans murdered. Need to find out who did it. And it just kept building, like, Ilsa and Rick know each other. The cops are looking for Victor. And it just, the step, we just kept climbing. We just kept climbing. That's what I'm trying to say. It never stopped. It never, never stopped. And you never could guess where this movie was gonna end up, where it was gonna go, because at times it seemed like Rick was gonna go fall for his emotions, but maybe that plays also to the aspect where he says that um, he is neutral and he put he was willing to put his feelings aside to do the right thing. And uh, maybe from that point of view, he is, he was, you know, pretty neutral or he did take a side and took the right side, you know? I just really enjoyed it. I, I, I talked about the cinematography, the textures, um, and you would think like, oh, it's just a black and white movie. That must be easy to shoot. No, if anything, I feel that black and white movies are harder to film to execute rather than shooting in color because lighting, lighting plays a huge part, especially for a black and white film. You have to get that just right. And I feel like they played with what they had, textures, the um, the shadows, the costume design also. You had the different characters come in. Like we first were introduced with Rick, he was wearing an all white suit. And uh, when he was talking to the young girl who her and her husband came from Bulgaria, she was wearing this black suit. And so there was always this contrast. And I just love, love, love how they played with color, how they played with grayscale. Um, the dialogue was always, <clears throat> It was spicy. The actors were doing their job feeding the lines or giving the lines in such a way where it was just entertaining and there was there was politics, there was romance, there was war, there was rumors, there was murder, there was all of it. And it still holds up till today. So yeah, yeah, we deem this a classic. Casablanca is a classic. So if you haven't, I mean you watch the reaction, so hopefully you already watched Casablanca, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, I rocks with that. It is a classic. It was it was like a, a hard movie, a soft movie. A <gasps> it evoked emotions, and it did that for the most part. And about it did all it did all of those things within ninety minutes, and most of it took place in Rick's cafe. That's why I was saying earlier how it's a bottle. This is we have bottle episodes in TV shows where it takes place in one location. This movie, for the most part, for the most part, it was a bottle movie, which I, I don't think I've really seen that before, so that was pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and tap that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you'd like to see more content, click on one of these over here. Until next time, guys.